So over here you can see that I got a bunch of poses that I have already recorded and if I were to hit the play button this is what it seems like. You can see that it's a bunch of different positions right here. So what I want to do is let's say I want to blend them out so that they do a smoother animation. So what I can do is let's say I'm just going to select uh, the top one right here and then I'm going to go around into timeline and then I'm going to go around into blend tape. So here you can see that there's different type of blend right here. So I can remove the blend altogether or I can blend in or blend out. So let's go with blend in right here and you can see that uh, the beginning becomes a bit smoother. So if I were to click hit the play button, you can see that there's the beginning and it uh, is smoother at first. Then there's again a gap right there. I'm going to go around over here and now go into timeline, gonna go into blend take and then I'm going to click on blend out and now let's see what happens. So what, what happens is that there's in and out right here. So this is smooth on the ending and this is smooth on the beginning right here. I can select both of these and I can add in, let's say for example, a blend in and a blend out as well. But I, I'm going to go around over here and then add in blend in and out. This makes it smooth both way. So if I were to press the play button, you can see that it is smoother now. I can do the same with all of these. So I can go around over here and then I can simply go around and blend in and out. And this is how it seems. So you can see that this is the first position. Then you can see that right there. So that is what you can do with uh, different types of blend modes. Another thing that you can do is you can remove out the blend as well. And to do that, simply go into blend take option, remove the blend just like this. So you can add or remove the blend over there just like that. So I can go around into blend out. I can go around navigate to the previous bend right here and you can see that it goes back to the previous bend right there. I can go around navigate onto next bend and you can see that it changes everything out as well. So that is how the blend takes work out. So another option you have is range. So now you can see that this is the uh, right hand and this is the left hand. Let's say I want this on the top right here. So to arrange it out, then what I can do is I can go into a timeline arrange and if I were to click move up, you can see that it moves up one step. I can go ahead and move it up right here. I can go ahead again, move it up. And that is what happens. You can see that as long as it can move up, it'll change out the place right here. I can also go around and do the same with this one. So I can go around on the timeline. Let's say I want to move it down right here, then I can move it down and this is how it works. So what I'm going to do now is to make the animation smoother. I'm just going to go around on to uh, blend in and out right here. So this is what it seems like. So I can just pull it out right here uh, to overlap this a bit so that one position follows after the other. So I'm just going to do that just like this. And now let's see how that actually looks like. So if I were to press the play button right here, you can see that that is how it actually looks like. So there's the blend. You can see that it is much more smoother right there as if there's an organic movement to the character instead of the stiff movement that we had in the beginning. So that is how you can use the blend take and arrange options inside of Adobe Character Animator. So if you guys learn something as always and as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.